So the main focus of my research is was to um, understand how the wiring in the brain is altered in fragile X syndrome. Mm -hmm. And the complexity, whether there's only a loss of um, wiring or if there is a global change in terms of uh, if there's an alteration in the short term versus the long term wiring. So in the past there have been uh, many attempts to, to study wiring in autism and fragile X syndrome is a disease that is very linked to autism. So we um, thought that in fact there might be a similarity on this basis and secondly um, this, um, this idea has not been explored that much because other theories are more prominent as the MGLOR theory and the GABA theory in fragile X syndrome. So we, we thought in this direction we might actually discover something new that would um, be relevant for in terms of therapeutics but also in terms of um, understanding the, the disease in the human. Um, so I went now to uh, San Diego mm -hmm. uh, in California to a group that is studying, is using imaging studies and so we are studying a, a broad variety um, and that include, so we have a strong focus on the intracellular uh, small uh, organization of cells uh, and the importance of individual genes within individual cells. Uh, I think it's uh, very important for all of us to get some sort of a, a recognition for this kind of work and that we see that there is interest in the public to uh, um, continue that kind of work. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>